Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, and my Shai Kavashah. Today is going to be a quick lesson um, going over John 1 and uh, I believe 1 through verses like 3 or 4 or something like that because a lot of people get caught up and stumped up at these verses, you know. OT Israelites use this to say that Yahweh Shai was the most high. Then you got, or they like to say that he was equal to the most high by using these verses. And you know, they don't like that. Also, you got Christians. They use this to say that Christ is the most high. And they would say that the Trinity is, is real and something to believe in and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to bring out <clears throat> a couple precepts to get uh, understanding the edification of John 1. So I'm going to go ahead and start it out. John 1 and 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, we, we know and we understand the Word to be Yahweh Mashiach. So it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. We understand that to be the most high. But then this next part says, and the word was God. So then we kind of get stumped up and say, so wait, Yahweh was the most high? But then verse 2, it says, the same was in the beginning with God. Now, now we're just confused. Now we're all over the place. Now we don't really know what's going on, right? So let's see. Um, first off, to understand, when you go into the word God, in the Old Testament, the word is Elohim. The word is Elohim. Let's grab that. Let's go to Exodus 20, just to grab a, 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 a quick example of the word God. Elohim. And uh, Paleo-Hebrew is Allah Hayim. And it's a plural sense. Rulers, comma, judges. Divine ones. Angels, gods, God, God is, God like one. Works or special possession of God, the true God, God. We see the very first one is rulers and judges. This is the outline of biblical usage. This is how sometimes um, um, things and people are referred to as God. Now let me go to the law. Let me go to the law. I remember I hit a Christian with this one time and he didn't he didn't know what to do. He didn't because we know idolatry is bad. Right? But he was trying to argue there's only one God and so on and so forth. So I went to Exodus 22 and 28. It says, Thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. I said, You're sitting there talking about these idols. You're not supposed to revile the gods. Can you break this down for me? And he didn't know what to do. He didn't understand this because he didn't read the law. He doesn't understand what a God is. He doesn't understand any of this. Now, of course, this is not going into idols. When it says, thou shalt not revile the gods, it's not going into idols. Next part clears it up. Nor curse the rule of thy people. Reviling the gods is going into reviling the, the chief men that set up above you. The gods would be um, uh, Moses. Moses was a god. He was he he had power. Who else was a god? Um, Aaron, the priests. The priests were gods. Let me grab that. Grab that in Acts, Acts real quick. Acts twenty three and one. And Paul earnestly beholding the council said, "Men and so I get men and brethren, I have lived in all good conscience before God unto this day." And the high priest Ananias commanded them that stood by him to smite him on the mouth. So the high priest Ananias commanded a man to smite Paul on the mouth. Verse 3. Then said Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, thou whited wall. For sittest thou to judge me after the law, and commandest me to be smitten contrary to the law. Verse 4. And they that stood by said revilest thou god's high priest we just got done reading do not revile the gods 
And Paul, what did he just do? He just reviled the gods. Let's see what Paul says. This said Paul, I wish not, brethren, that he was the high priest, for it is written, Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people. And we just got that law. Do not revile the gods. So if you're under the understanding, if you're under the understanding that um, only so-called, like, just supreme deities or whatever it can be called God, like the most high God, and then you got idols that are called gods. If you're under that understanding, you're going to have a hard time breaking down that exodus we just read. If you don't believe that men are gods, you're going to have a, a super tough time breaking this down. Thou shalt not revile the gods. Because we know we're not supposed to deal with idols. This ain't talking about just the most high because it's plural. The gods. You're going to have a tough time trying to make this make sense. Super tough time. Now let's go back to John 1. Because what are we dealing with? The word God. <clears throat> In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Now, like I said, the word Elohim, a lot of that stuff just go back to um, um, power, I believe. Or powers. Let me see if I can find that. Um, okay, kind of like this. Um, I'm right, I'm right here. I'm reading this. It says, um, God's in the ordinary sense, but specifically used in the plural, thus, especially the, with the article of the Supreme God, occasionally applied by way of defense to magistrates and sometimes as superlative angels, exceeding God, God's um, great judges, mighty. You know, in the word Elohim is used two times for mighty, great, exceeding, godly, so on and so forth. Let's see what the root of the etymology is. Aloha, God or false God. Kind. But we kind of see, we kind of see what it's going into a little bit. Let me get back to the definition, just in case we might gotta pull it up again. So, Christ was a God. If you want to be honest, Christ is a God. Just like the scripture is written. Is it not written that ye are gods? Let me go ahead and grab that. I believe it says ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Now I want to grab this. John 10 and 33. The Jews answered him, saying, for, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because thou, because that thou being a man, makest thyself God. Yahweh shall I answer him, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. She called them gods unto whom the word of God came. The scripture cannot be broken. Say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent to the world, thou blasphemous, because I said I am the Son of God. So Christ had to cut him up. It's not is it not written in your law, in your book, that ye are gods. Why 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 do you want to stone me? Because I say I'm the Son of God. You know? Let's get back to this John one. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, <clears throat> and the Word was God. So the Word, Christ, was with the Most High God, and the Word was God. Christ was God. Not the Most High, but He was God. He is a God. It says the same was the beginning with God. Re reason we know there's a distinction. Let me see. I think it's Colossians that I want. Let 
Okay, right here. Colossians. Because the Most High God lives outside of time and space. This is Colossians 1 and 15. It says, who is, the, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Going into Christ had to be created. Christ has a beginning. Scriptures don't speak of anything about the Most High having a beginning. It says, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Which is why we read this in John. Um, all things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. That's not making him the most high God. We read this in Sirach. Sirach 18 and 1. He that liveth forever, which is the most high, hath created all things in general. What does this mean? The most high God, he sent men and angels. Not men, but he sent angels. He sent Yahawashah to go and create stuff. To go and create the world. To go and create everything. He gave them the blueprint. He sent them to go make it. That's why it says he, he created all things in general. Most High kind of gave them the blueprint on how to do it, where to do it, why to do it, so on and so forth. Most High didn't hop off his throne and, and, and get his hands dirty and do certain. No, no, no. He said it. They went out and made it happen. That's why it says he that liveth forever hath created all things in general. Which is why we get this right here. Um, um, going over Christ, all things were made by him. Yes, by, by Christ's hand, all things were made. But it was through the spirit and power of the most high God. Now, read this again. In the beginning was the word, Christ. And the word was with God. And the word was God. So the word was with the Father. And the word was God. The word literally was God. I know it's kind of confusing, but like I said, when we go over certain scriptures, is, is it not written in your law that ye are gods? The, the, the Yahweh Shai is a God. That's where a lot of people get stuff confused because we have this notion of, oh, okay, we were grown up, we hear the word God, we think of the Most High. In a biblical sense, that's not true. In a biblical sense, there are many things referred to as God. I believe even uh, Satan is referred to as God. The angels can be referred to as God. The first word of that, uh, the first definition of that word Elohim was what? Uh, rulers and, and judges, I believe. What is Christ? A ruler and a judge. You know? So try not to get stumped up by this. Um... You know, it, it, it is kind of a difficult scripture to kind of understand or learn because of how it's worded. But it's not, when you actually just know the precepts and get through there, it's not that tough. It's not that hard. It's not that frightening. But like I said, it was going to be a short lesson. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, 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 Ba'ashem